You're watching Love Shack Entertainment, and today we're bringing you Duelist Pack Battle City. This set looks absolutely awesome if you're a fan of nostalgia and or the original series, and it does look like it has a couple of cool new ultra rares, including multiple destruction, uh, what is it, anti-magic arrows, the winged dragon of Ross, spear mode, and, or sphere mode, rather, I don't know why I said spear, uh, and there's a couple of cool supers, too. So, we got nine packs here, but I think we might have a box opening up it coming as well. So, we're gonna jump right into this. Hopefully, we get at least one hollow rare. In the meantime, I'll ask you guys to please Please click the Pokeball in the bottom right hand corner to subscribe to the channel if you have not already because we try to do things like this on release day try to get everything out as quickly as possible so alrighty let's jump right into this and so as far as I know with these sets the rares are in the front so what I'm gonna try to do is just move the other three up there so it doesn't spoil the surprise the legendary fisherman time wizard whoop hysteric party rare barrel dragon and another time wizard so that's interesting um, two Time Wizards, one pack. It's kind of cool. Big fan of Time Wizard, though. It's kind of funny, because every copy of Time Wizard that's in the game right now is actually decently priced, which I'm guessing is just kind of based on its nostalgia factor, but there's a lot of, uh, copies of it that are not cheap, so. That is what it is, I guess, but. And I think just for the sake of the trick, I'm going to put those two in the back. Nice! Look at that! The alternate art Karibo, that's cool. Karibo. Whoa. Two Gemini Elf, Drag Down Into the Grave, Rare Foolish Burial, and Hysteric Party. So, I don't know what the ratios are like at all for pulling common, I mean, for pulling uh, foils out of here. So, Drag Down Into the Grave seems kind of cool, too. And, of course, Toon Gemini Elf with all the Toon support coming out uh, pretty soon. I know Benny's planning on building that deck, so he actually asked me to put aside any of the Toon stuff that I pulled. So, he could have access to it, so we can do that. We'll go ahead and go one, two, three. And we got another drag down into the grave. Harpy Lady Sisters. Malevolent Catastrophe, that's always nice. Dark Necrofear Rare and Archfiend of Gilfer. Still no foil. Hopefully we can get at least one. Uh, I have honestly no idea what the ratios are like for these sets. So maybe they're easy to pull, maybe they're not. I guess we'll figure that out as we get there. So go one, two, three. Put those up front. It's kind of like opening Pokemon packs here. All right. Magical Stone Excavation, Jax Knight, Blue Eyes, Toon Dragon, that's awesome. I wish they had made him a foil in here, honestly. Um, I feel like they could have made him an Ultra, just because Blue Eyes White Dragon has so many Ultra prints already, but that's okay. Nice! A rare Crush Card Virus, better than the gold one. And the Legendary Fisherman. I'm going to sleeve that Crush Card Virus up. Awesome. Pretty cool pull. And it's the second time it's been printed as a rare, but I like it, so it's pretty cool. Everyone knows what Crush Card Virus is. Uh, not bad. <clears throat> no idea what the value is. No idea what the value is going to be uh, on these sets, but it's okay. Let's go one, two, three, one, two. All right. Elegant Egotist. Toon Dark Magician Girl. That's cool. Curse of the Mass Beast. Buster Blader. And Time Wizard again. We're taking a trip down Nostalgia Lane right here with some of these awesome packs here. I'm going to put that other Time Wizard there as well. See how many Time Wizards we can get. Now, I don't know how many cards are actually in this set. So, I want to say it's 50, or 47. I, I heard both of those numbers. I guess I could technically just look on the back. Uh, let's see. Let's do some basic math together, guys. 37. Yeah, so 47. 47 cards in the set. And there's some cool foils and shit, so. And hopefully we can get at least one. That's all I'm really hoping for here. Blast Sphere. Toon Gemini Elf. Lord of D. Barrel Dragon, and nice, super rare, Legion the Fiend Jester. During your main phase, you can tribute summon one Spellcaster-type monster in face-up attack position, in addition to your normal summoner set. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can add one Spellcaster normal monster from your deck or hand to the graveyard. Pretty sweet. No idea if it's any good, but still, it's one of the new supers, so that's awesome. Legion the Fiend Jester, and apparently Dark Magician Girl is in here as a super, too, so pretty cool. I'd like to get one of those just for collection. I actually don't have one, so. One, two, three. One, two. We got three packs left here. Another Lord of the D. Harpy Lady. Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. A Rare Foolish Burial. And Black Luster Ritual. Rare Foolish Burial. That's the second one we got. But hey, Foolish Burial is always nice to have some extra copies of, so I can't complain about that. Um, we got two packs left with this opening. And even if you're not a huge fan of... And I spoiled that rare, by the way, but let's hope there's a foil. If you're not a huge fan of, uh, you know... 
tunes and stuff. There's still some awesome stuff in the set. Uh, Rocket Warrior, the Legendary Fisherman, the Flute of Summoning Dragon, the Masked Beast. I want to say this is like the first or second time this guy's ever gotten a reprint. And the Flute of Summoning Dragon again. So it looks like they did double back. This is kind of cool. Um, yeah, I believe it was in one of the retro packs, but I don't think it's been actually reprinted outside of that. So it's pretty neat. It used to be an Ultra in uh, Labyrinth of Nightmare. It was the strongest ritual monster for quite a while. And we got... This is all we got left. Let's see if we can get ourselves one more foil. We got Time Wizard, Magical Stone Excavation, Insect Queen, Embodiment of Apophis, and the Flute of Summoning Dragon. So, unfortunately, only one foil uh, out of these packs, but it's pretty cool because it's still a fun trip down, uh, you know, Nostalgia Lane. So, take a quick look at the rares there. Everything is awesome. Iconic stuff. Uh, and then we got a super rare Legion, the Fiend Jester, which I have no idea of its value, but it's still awesome. Uh, and then, of course, the rare Crush Card Virus, another really solid card. And we got a bunch of Time Wizards, so so that's awesome. Pretty cool set. We will definitely be doing some more of this, and uh, hopefully as soon as I can get them in. And thank you guys for watching. In the meantime, remember to subscribe for more awesome Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG, and other TCG-related videos. I will see you next time at Love Shack Entertainment.